Hello. In this lesson, we're going to talk about a, um, you know, what will be covered for midterm exam. If we look back the past eight weeks, including this week, and um, we have covered mathematical principles, truth tables, math grammar, and uh, a series of concepts and, and reviews that we did in, uh, in the first week. And in particular, we introduced the definition of function. Definition, uh, the definition of function. After the function of definition is the definition of functions is introduced, we talk about one-to-one -one function. Okay, so and then we talk about one-to-one -one function. And after we talk about one-to-one -one function, and we talk about what is not one-to-one -one function, not one-to-one -one function. Okay. And then we talk about increasing or decreasing functions. And after that, of course, even or odd function or neither. For all of these functions, for all of these concepts, for all of these concepts, function, one-to-one -one function, or not one-to-one -one function, increasing or decreasing function, even or odd function, we apply these concept, right? Vertical line test, the horizontal line test to all of these functions in our study. So in the past eight weeks, we have studied all of these functions and applying the concept of all of these, all of these. And of course, for function, we have two very important concepts, which is the input and the, the rule of the function. The rule of function has to satisfy a very special requirement, which for each input, the output must be unique. And then domain, domain and range. So for all of these functions, we have discussed their domain and range, and their graphs. We've done the graphs for each one of these functions, uh, except, you know, cosecant and secant, we did not do them in details, um, but we have done all of these graphs and discussed whether any one of or each one is one-to-one -one or not one-to-one, -one, increasing, decreasing, increasing where, decreasing where, even odd functions. So all of these functions are our basic functions. And we also talk about the composition of these functions. Composition of functions. Okay. Um, you know, of course we talk about adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, a constant multiply function. And what is more, we talk about um, F plus G uh, plus minus G, okay, two functions, F multiply G and F divided by G. And last but not least is F composite G. And one important concept that we applied over and over again, we talk about that over and over again, that for any, for a one-to-one -one function, F, okay, it has a unique inverse. It has a unique, U N I Q U E inverse. And that inverse is F of inverse. And these two functions, one's domain is the other's range. One's domain is the other's is the other's range, and vice versa. 
in particular for these two functions that f and its inverse, if we composite them in the following manner, f inverse, composite f, okay. The first one takes input from the domain of f inverse. Okay, x is from the domain of f inverse, f inverse. Okay, and then this composition will end up to be equals to x, same. And the other one, the other one property, the other property we applied was that if this x, which is from the domain, from the domain of F, and this composition will result in equals to X. And this is true, and we apply that to any pair of a one-to-one -one function and its inverse one's domain and the other. And graphically, okay, their graph are symmetrical uh, with respect to y equals to x, that, that line, okay? So we apply these over and over again we apply these two over and over again to any one of these functions that are one-to-one -one or be made one-to-one. -one. For example, uh, sine, uh, arc sine has an inverse, okay? Its inverse is a piece of sine. Arc cosine has an inverse. Its inverse is um, a piece of cosine. And tangent inverse, uh, arc tangent has an inverse with a piece of tangent and arc cotangent has an inverse, which is a piece of cotangent. And these properties apply to them all. And we, de we derive those uh, shortcuts. And for these pairs, they are inverse to each other. One's domain is the other's range. For the top eight, some of them is, in, is one to one, some of them is not. Now, Cosecant and secant, we did not uh, spend as much time, but we did talk about their domain and range. So you are expected to know. You don't have to study about their, uh, we don't, you don't have to study uh, arc cosecant or arc secant. And those will not be uh, the contents we're gonna, we're gonna exam on you. All right, so now for domain, for each domain, you need to know how to express the domain for each functions in its various way from the least useful to the most useful. For range as well, range, in some cases we talk about those uh, one sentence domain range, and those are very, very important and you must know about them. You must know about them, okay? Uh, the next source, okay, the next source of study is review all the quizzes and I'll make those solutions available to you. And, um, and homework is another source for your study. Homework is another source of your study. And um, now, so let's take a look at our modules. Okay, since the first week, since the first week, okay, we cover mathematical principles, we reviewed a number system, grammar in mathematics, truth table, and then we introduce function. We talk about each one of the functions in the first, the first eight functions in the table. And uh, absolute value function and the property of absolute value function, we have extensive coverage of those contents. In the second week, we studied one-to-one -one function and the composition of functions and how to find inverse functions, the sense, right? And we, we, we studied exponential functions and logarithm functions pair by pair. And continue, we studied logarithm functions, exponential functions, 
pair by pair, we studied uh, e to the power x and natural log function pair by pair. Okay, and then we went about to study trigonometry. We talk about the, the three pillars of trigonometry, A, R, D, and they're all throughout our studies. Everything we do, okay, that's the center. Okay, that's that's one single definition. The the you know this um, design the entire course. Okay, design the entire course called trigonometry, and we have a graph. Right, how do we express it? And all the details you need to know how to graph them, how the points are being created, and how the unit circle is being made. So we made all of those. So from sine to arc sine. We studied that for arc cosine, uh, from cosine to arc cosine. We have detailed studies, tangent and arc tangent. There are graphs. Um, in last week, we have studied from the three pillars, from the definition. We talk about what are the identities we can derive. We derive our trig formulae, a diagram, and we derived all of those formula and talk about their applications. And this week, which is the week before midterm exam and before spring recess, we talk about the, the basic function review. So we have several reviews throughout the past weeks since the beginning of the semester. And composition of trig functions, they're not necessarily you know, sine and arc sine, it could be sine and arc cosine or cosine and arc tangent and so on and so forth. And in particular, we talk about decomposition of functions, okay, which is very, very important for us to understand and to know how to decompose it. And you will need that for your calculus classes. You need that for calculus classes. And then the, the last two lectures in this week is about the, um, the identity proof. How do we prove trig identities? The three formats. Once you know how to prove these identities, it's very, very important that you follow one of those formats to make a, a, a strong logical presentation of your proofs of anything. Okay. All right. So that's the review for before the midterm exam. Uh, you will have um, you will have time to well the, the midterm will be available to you on Friday. Uh, let me write it down over here. Okay. All questions or exams are going to be about lectures, quizzes, and homework. There's no quiz in this week. There'll be no, the material on the midterm exam will be covered from the first week to week number eight. Okay. Midterm covers material from from week one through week number eight. And you have you have you will have the midterm available to you on Friday. There are three attempts and the highest score was will go into your record. It is due the 17th of April 1159 PM. If you have any questions please make sure that you reach out to me and I'll be happy to answer your question, but I will not be answering questions on the exams. Please do not ask any questions on the exams with, uh, to the tutors, okay? They're not supposed to tell you. And you need to study the material as needed, okay? And um, among these three attempts, don't just do one and right after the first one, you do the next one in between before the first one, okay, before the first attempt. Okay, so my recommendation, 
before the first attempt. Okay, study as much as possible. Okay, study uh, past quizzes, homework, lectures as much as possible. And after the first attempt, okay, after the first attempt, study some more, especially the part that you may not understand. You, you may not, or, or you're not sure about. Okay, so, and repeat, okay? So after the first attempt, study some more, especially the part you're not sure about, and then you, you try, and then repeat in that order until you have the third attempt. So hopefully you, through these three attempts, you have a thorough understanding of the material um, for this course. Uh, let's see, there, if there's any question, there's any question, I'll be available to answer your questions this entire week, okay? The solution, the solution to the past quizzes will be available until, um, until this Friday. Okay, after that, they will no longer be available. Okay, uh, let's see, is there anything else I should cover? Okay, quiz. So all of these um, materials, okay, from week number one through week number eight. And, um, I hope you have a great study time and, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you during office hours or other times we have discussions on Pronto or through messages. All right, so until next time, have a great week, bye.